Hey guys. Well, so I finished all my homework, you know, in class, as usual. Well, I, my parents got me a tutor for the ACT. Well, we had to go pick up these two books. Very, very heavy, kind of thick. They're actually pretty heavy. I don't know how heavy, but yeah, they are. This one's actually heavier of the two. Don't know why, but they both come with the CDs or DVD. Well, that one has a DVD, but this one has a CD. And well, I was at my first day of work. Becca was with the tutor because we scheduled the tutor, but I had to work. Like, I had to do the training thing, and there was only two days, and I couldn't do it the first day because I had color guard practice. So I had to do the second day, and yeah, and there's no other choice, so. Sorry. <laughs> so, um, I have one packet that's in two, three, seven pages on questions and stuff that I have to answer. That's like the first four chapters, I think. Yeah. And then another packet. One, Six more pages of more, and then this one's not that so bad of a packet because it's only three. And then the last pack, which is a good one. Oh god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine dreadful pages. Put them all together, and that's a lot. So, oh, oh, paper cut at the end of my leg because I'm sick. I'm sitting cross, crisscross. Or as they call it, crisscross applesauce. Yeah. So I have all of that to do before like, next week. <clears throat> Tomorrow I have our second football game, so yay. I can go and do the whole show this time. Because we learned the rest of the show today, which was two more sets, which the song was only seven sets in the first place. Yeah, it's not that bad. And the first song is the longest song, and then second is second song is a little bit shorter, and then third song is like really short. <laughs> so, and it's with the Who. <laughs> Actually, I have a shirt, but I don't want to go get it. It's too far away. Because I just put my clothes away. Yeah, that's fun. And I've got shoes, other shoes, that are more comfortable to wear to work. Because the ones I wore last time aren't very comfortable. Because they're loafers and their heels are like that. I know, I can't stand in that old for three hours. I don't care. It's too much. <laughs> so Saturday, I work 11 to 5, which, that's all going to be a long shift. Yikes. And then I'm supposed to, like, I had to have my fridge put in a sheet so that I can have all those dates saved because I have competitions and stuff or football games that I have to go to. And so, and I goes to, like, next month, so that's good. And then she put me scheduled for next Saturday. Well, I can't do next Saturday because next Saturday is the first band competition. I, you know, it's very important to go to because you can't miss a competition. So, that's not good. Not good at all. But yeah. Oh, I was watching all of my favorite YouTubers play Amnesia, the machine for pigs. That game is fucking terrifying. Like, just the actual, like, the story. It's just amazing so far that all they've gotten to. And then, the fact that it's a sequel. Like, it's amazing that, I think it's, it was the great grandfather of the main one for this, yeah, the main character for this game, is, it's either Daniel or Alexander, now, it doesn't really say which one so far, so, can't wait for them to 
for just playing that, because that's just, it's amazing how terrifying it is. Because it's just like, oh, this is so good. Like, even the smallest things they do, like, I remember Market Player, I think, I don't remember what part it was, but he only saw the outline of it, and I started freaking out, and so did he, and was like, oh. You're, like, you're just watching it, and I, of course, turned my volume all the way up so that I can hear, like, the smallest little noises that normally you can't hear if you have it on lower. And I was just fucking terrified. <laughs> and that was, I wasn't even dark. I was, like, as light as it is right now. And, oh my god. I was terrified. Even though I'm in light. I can't even imagine what it was in the dark room. That's just... <sighs> Ugh. That's just... It's amazing. They are so good at doing that. They know... They obviously know what they're doing. So that... <laughs> it's good to have... At least know that someone makes good games. Frictional games. They're really good at making horror games. The story plot is just amazing. And now they have cars and a lot of other stuff in them. Kind of looks weird. Although, I think it's weird that they don't have an inventory, but I kind of like the fact that you don't have to click on it and then it'll go in your inventory. You have to actually hold it, which makes sense because you hold it to go somewhere, you know? If I were that, it's just, oh. Just that monster. Like, when Minx saw it for the first time, because I watched her, her play through first. And, oh my god, that literally, I flipped my shit right there. Like, it kind of, the way the hair and the eyes, like, glowed and everything, well, the hair didn't glow, but it was, like, long, black, freaky hair, and, like, these weird, glowy, creepy eyes. Not gonna lie, they were creepy. And I saw this, and it kind of reminded me of, um, the Chimera from Full Metal Alchemist when, you know, uh, what's the alchemist's name? The life sewing alchemist, I think? I don't remember his name. But he sewed his, his, I think it was the dog and then his daughter together. It, you know how that looks like if you watch the anime? Kind of looked like that, only pig version, and it was much creepier. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's so shit. <laughs> Oh, like I was freaking out. It was just so terrifying, and I wasn't even playing it. I was watching someone else play, and it was still freaking terrifying. So I would have definitely have to save my money up for Amnesia Dark Descent and the new mach Amnesia P Machine for Pigs, because that looks just so good. And I've always wanted to play Dark Descent. That's obviously been on my wish, wish list for a long time. Ever since it came out, but yeah, still. And Machine for Pigs, it looks even better than the first one. I'm like, oh. I mean, I kind of miss having an inventory, but I kind of, it's probably for the best. Because, <laughs> yeah. Although, I kind of miss the, the sanity a little bit. Because, I mean, you kind of know he's insane. But, yeah. I mean, you can definitely tell it's the same makers and everything, but. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. oh, I well, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last vlog, but I lost my phone, so I couldn't find it anywhere. I didn't have it for a whole week. Found it. Actually, my friend found it because we heard vibrating, and we couldn't figure out where it was coming from. It was in the guard room. Someone must have slipped it in my guard bag without me knowing it at all, because I had no idea where it was. And I, I put it in my garment bag and someone must have put it there. Don't know who, but whoever it is, they could have told me <laughs> if they ever had a chance. I don't know. But at least I have it. And it's reactivated and everything, so yay. Now I have to use my old shitty phone. Because that phone sucks. <laughs> like, the things it does is just bad. I could make a vlog on it some other time. Probably won't ever.
still. It sucks. So, oh, midterms. They are today. Holy crap. First quarter is going by so fast. Yeah, it's going by so fast. Like it's already half done. Whoa. I mean, it's felt like just yesterday we going. Oh, time to go back to school. And then yay, time to be not the sophomore freshman. Yay, yeah, the upperclassmen. Woo. But yeah. Oh. And it felt like just yesterday we were learning all of the effects for the show. Now we know all of it. Oh my god. <sighs> Obviously I'm tired from the whole week, but you know, whatever. Ah! I don't have something to get in my eye lately. Ugh, that's weird. Oh well. Oh, Outlast also looks like a good game. Just put in that thought out there. Just saying. It looks like an amazing game. So I'm definitely going to want to save my money up for that game, too. Oh, there's so many good games out there now. I mean, obviously, there's some. I don't know. I don't have anything. I don't have a webcam or anything. So I can't do any of that stuff, which I've always thought it was really cool. And, like, I've always wanted to do it. But then, I mean, like, PewDiePie came out and started being famous for doing that. I was like, people actually do that? I was amazed. So now I actually do want to, but I also still want to do vlogs, you know. Keep up. Kind of like Tobuscus does. He does both, and so does Joey Garcia. So, yeah. And so does Secluded Hermit. Which, he's not as famous of a YouTuber, but he's still, like, he's getting there. And he's really good, because he talks to everybody. He's just yeah, I don't love him. And he's Scottish, so. <laughs> he's all the accent. And he really, like, wears a mask. And he makes videos and makes people happy. And just, it's Basically, I'd consider him my sick friend, because he considers everybody his friend. So, I mean, it's someone to talk to, and he's just amazing, because you can talk to him. He's on the other. Technically on the other side of the world. I guess, if you think about it. So, yeah, that's just amazing, because I'm in America, and he's all the way on the other side. <laughs> so, I mean, it's not like in, like, China or Russia or somewhere like that, but still, it's cool how you can talk to people, even though they live so far away. And that he, he's really funny. You, you guys gotta check him out if you ever get a chance. Just, just saying. Just, <laughs> I think I should end it and start working on all of these packets. I don't want to. Ugh. Let's see, what's the vision? Following sentences have e either have existing or require additional commas somewhere in their structures. Choose the option that best reflects the proper comma usage in each sentence. Oh god. This is gonna suck. Oh god. This is a grammar, technically, I guess? Yeah, because placing commas. Oh god. They don't teach us that kind of stuff anywhere. Like, no one teaches us anymore, because they stopped teaching us in, like, fifth grade, I think? Fifth or sixth, I don't know. But they stopped teaching us, and now we're in foreign languages, and it's just so confusing to do it without, you know. So, yeah, that's, uh, that was bad. Oh, we played field hockey in French class. We took a field trip. It was freaking amazing. And the, it, one of the captains of the Mallards, which is the I guess you could say local um, hockey player team, hockey playing team, just or hockey team. Whatever the fuck you want to say it. I've heard so many ways of people saying it. Oh, whatever. So he coached, or kind of refereed, coach kind of 
with teams and yeah that was fun so yay